All right, so now that we've used our first node to resize our image and also to set a baseline for our color grading, the next thing we need to do to create this look is to start using nodes and our qualifier to start isolating and then altering specific parts of our image. And the first part of the image that I wanna isolate and alter is the singer's face. And what I wanna do there is isolate just her skin tones and particularly the highlights and give those a softer look and feel. So to do that, I'm going to add a second node. I'm just going to right click, and do add node, and add a new corrector node. I'm just going to drag that into the node tree. And then I'm going to go down here into the qualifier panel and select that. And with the qualifier, in order to see what I'm doing and what area of the image I'm selecting, I'm going to go over here and click on this highlight button. And that's going to allow me to see what part of the image that I've selected. And then I'm going to go over here and basically what I want to do is click and drag around the area of the image that I want to isolate. And so if I do that, you can see I've selected her face. And once I've selected sort of a broad area, I'm going to go into the qualifier controls and use these to fine tune my image selection area. So first I'm just going to adjust the hue. And then I'm going to adjust the saturation. And what I'm trying to do here is just isolate the specific area of the image that I want to adjust. And since I want highlights, I'm going to bring this up to 100. And then I'm going to kind of blur out my selection so it's a little bit softer. And that looks pretty good for this example. So the next thing I'm going to do once I've isolated this area of the image is I want to go into my blur panel and I'm just going to blur out this area of my image. And since I've isolated it using the qualifier, the only area of my image that's going to have a blur applied to it is this area that I've selected. And to see that if I go back into the qualifier and turn off this highlight, now we can see the whole image all at once and if I sort of zoom in here a little bit. So this is sort of before I applied the qualifier and this is after. And you can see it's a very subtle change but that's what I want. I don't really want people to notice that I'm blurring her face. I just want the highlights to be a little bit softer and also her skin to be a little bit softer and kind of have that ethereal glow to it. The next thing I want to do is add in another node. I'm just going to put in a power window to try to draw some more attention to her face. So again, I'm going to right click, add node, add a corrector node, and drag that into my node tree. And then I'm going to go into my power window panel. And I'm just going to do a circular power window. And I'm going to drag this out and kind of put it around the helmet and her face. And here I'm just going to bring the gain down a little bit. And I'm also going to bring the saturation down. And then I need to invert my power window so that it's affecting the area outside of the power window. So I want it to be affecting the wall. So I'm just going to click on invert over here so I can see what I did. Um, and that looks pretty good. So I brought the brightness of the outside wall down. And if we just sort of take a quick look at the before and the after, again, it's a subtle change, but it helps to bring some attention down to her face. And so those are two fairly subtle changes to the image, but they really do help to direct a lot of attention to our singer's face. And I think they make a big difference in the overall look, even though individually they seem very small. Now, the next thing that we need to do is isolate another area of our image using the qualifier and the next area of the image that we need to use the qualifier to isolate and adjust is the wall of the spaceship. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the next tutorial.